In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options in infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, we can see here the first option comes with the title, detail text. Then I've added the option number one here along with the icon. And I've added some shadow effect here. And when I click, it comes the second options, third option, and the fourth option. And I've created one more slide with three options only. You can see here. So when I click, the option one comes, two, and three. Three. so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose a rectangle, draw a rectangle. Then I'm going to change the height and width. The height I'm going to make it as 1.5 and the width I'm going to make it as 8.5. Shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. Then I'm going to give a gradient color here. For that right mouse click, go to the format shape under the fill select the gradient fill so this is the color which i used uh, just a while ago that's the reason but uh, it's up to you. you can change the color so i'm going to use only two stops so the first stop i can just choose any color maybe this uh, dark blue and the other color i'm just going to use uh, maybe some this blue color all right then i'm going to add one more rectangle on top of this a smaller one select the rectangle and I'm going to give a, sh a gap between the left and the right side and make sure to align center, align middle, shape outline, make it no outline and you can give some different color to it, somewhat darker color or I can just use the eyedropper also and I can give this color, alright, so it looks something like this and then I'm going to use a shadow effect here so i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to select the color black here the transparency i'm going to give as 50 percent then go to the shape effects and under the soft edges increase the soft edges here you can see here and increase the width and i'm going to place it here increase the height as well and then send this back all right so you can see here it has created some shadow effect so let me just increase the height further yeah then let me just insert one more rectangle here a small rectangle you can hold the shift key to get a perfect square shape and shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color and i'm going to add one more rectangle here which is a smaller one is kind of an extension like this you can see here shape outline again make it no outline and make sure that this and this should be align middle all right and then shape fill make it white all right then i'm going to select both of these either i can group it by right mouse click group or i can just go to the merge shape and make it union also okay so this is the best way to make it union and then send this back all right then hold the control shift key drag it towards the right side rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then again give a gap the same gap here and then this also send back you can see here so this basic design i've done so i can just select both of this shape and i can give some shadow effect for this as well all right so you can see a shadow effect created then go to insert text box here I'm going to type title, title here, white font, center align, make it bold and then you can go to insert text box equals LOREM within bracket one, some detailed text, I don't want this much large text, so I'm going to delete it, select this one, white font, center align, reduce the font size and put it exactly here and make sure both of these text to be grouped press ctrl g to group it then go to the insert text box here i'm going to type option one here zero one make it bold increase the size 
center align and you can give the same color what we have used in the background which is this color it's up to you you can just change any color as you like and i'm going to keep it here then go to insert icons i'm going to use one icon here uh, which is related to the work which you're doing so any icon depending on the requirements i'm just going to choose maybe this icon and click insert bring it here make the height and width maybe 0.6 and graphic fill i'm going to give the same color which is there in the background and i'm going to put it here so now this this shape and this shape press ctrl g to group it this icon and this shape again press ctrl g to group it select both this one by holding the shift key go to the shape format and send back all right so then one more thing you can do is one more uh, shape uh, as a shadow you can add it here so go to insert shape select the rectangle all right and i can use the same here you know the one which i have created before so i can just select this one go to the home using the format painter click on this one so this shadow effect created i'm going to increase the height a little bit tilt it or bend it and i'm going to put it here all right you can see here and then send this to back so you can see here some shadow effect has been created let me just tilt it further and then press ctrl d to duplicate tilt the other side and i'm going to put it here and send this to back so you can see here the shadow have been added and our first option is ready now it's time to do the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane so first of all i'm going to select this text go to the add animation more entrance effects click on stretch click ok so it stretched like this you can see here then this one i'm going to add animation more animation effects i'm going to select peek in click ok peek in it should happen from left you can see here and this should happen with previous and i'm going to use the animation painter and click it here and this one it should happen from right so now if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right so it's very easy for me to replicate now i'm going to select all the shapes okay just drag this up all right then hold the control shift key drag it down the second option the third option and again if you want you can add one more option here now this option will be option two and this will be option three and now depending on the requirement you can just change the color also and these icons also you can change so i'm going to select this icon go to the graphics format change graphics i'll select from icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice maybe i'm going to choose this african uh, map click insert it got inserted here now for this also graphics from icons i'm going to choose some different icon this time maybe i'm going to choose this click insert so icons got changed now it's time for to change the color so i'm going to select this one let me just go to the more colors i can just choose some kind of uh, orange or dark red or purple dark purple click ok and here i'm going to choose somewhat lighter purple click ok so you can see here there's a dark and this is the light and here i'm going to just choose maybe more like this purple and click ok and then this icon also color you need to change to the same icon and this also you have to change it like this all right so then similarly you can just change for the next option so let me just show you when i click it comes like this first option second option and third option